Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ghost, and today we're going to play some Modern Warfare 3, where I drop a double Moab against these kids that have no idea what planet they're on. So just sit back and relax and watch these kids get owned. It's not even an impressive gameplay, because these kids are terrible. Pretty much any double or triple Moab gameplay is against terrible players, so yeah. I actually have a topic of discussion today. Now, I was thinking, I was thinking, my, my little brain was thinking today. And, uh, you know, I, I've been recently getting into more Greek mythology, stuff like this. It just it sparks my interest. If you guys have followed my channel, you know that I've mentioned it a couple times. My class names in Modern Warfare 2 are named after Greek gods and uh, demigods and stuff like that. And I was thinking, and I was reading up uh, about hierarchies uh, among, like, Greek gods and stuff like that. And I was thinking, that really, there really is... A hierarchy in YouTube there really is there are levels of everything now if you don't know what a hierarchy is basically actually by definition let me read it for you is an arrangement of items objects names values or categories in which the items are represented as above below or at the same level as another so basically you have different tiers you have different levels of uh, high low medium you know or on the same playing field and that pertains to YouTube as well um, the example of actually like Greek gods that I was reading up on it's like tier 1 gods are basically Zeus, Poseidon, Hades uh, you know the big motherfuckers the guys who count the guys who rule the world the universe uh, the underworld etc then you have like semi uh, below that are very close to tier 1 but not quite you know you have people like Apollo, uh, Athena, Artemis, Ares uh, like the god of war and stuff like that they're not quite up there with Zeus, but they are very close to that level. So there's different levels, and then you have demigods like uh, Perseus and stuff like that. But that, that really has nothing to do with it. Uh, that's just an example of a hierarchy if you're unfamiliar with it. There's hierarchies in politics. There's hierarchies in sports. There's hierarchies in pretty much everything. Uh, so that kind of gives you an example of what one is. Now, I kind of came up with my own little hierarchy I'm sure it's it's not a hundred percent accurate I threw this together in like 10 minutes uh, feel free in the comment section below to add and uh, actually add your own hierarchy if you think you have a more improved one because there definitely is gonna be more improved because once again I threw this together really quickly now I was thinking at the bottom and this isn't insulting this is just the the actual hierarchy level that some people are placed on at the very bottom is the one to four thousand subscriber count channels now these channels are up and coming they want to make it big they see all these people with huge subscriber counts they want to get partnered and I call that the dreamers and schemers because one you're either gonna get where you're going if you put out good content you're a dreamer you want to get up there I just accidentally hit the microphone with a pen oh, <laughs> sorry about that but the dreamers and schemers it pretty much makes sense these people want to get where other higher tier levels are that's their goal that's what they want to do and on the other hand you have the schemers you have the people who just they want to put out gameplays because they want to make money and I'm not saying that's wrong but <laughs> in, a, in a sense it is because you're portraying yourself as someone who is a money whore and that's not really uh, looked up upon <laughs> in the YouTube community or just in life in general but unfortunately there's nothing you can do people do want to make money and that's tier one the dreamers and schemers level two right above that is the subscriber count channels that are 5,000 to 10,000 now these people these people are working their way up the network they're talking to people uh, they're doing dual commentaries they're not afraid to get their name out there no matter what um, these people are the dedicated entertainers uh, because at this current time to have five to ten thousand subscribers is very rare it really is very rare unless you know you came in at the right time you're not gonna have a whole lot of subscribers on your channel and I'm not trying to say that to discourage you but there's just so much there's a huge influx of people actually doing this and the saturation of actually getting noticed it's like I, I, I dislike the man but Woody had a great analogy at one point he said your name is just one word in the dictionary and it's very hard to you know stop your finger on that exact page as, as where you are to get noticed now that's a great analogy but 
you know, it's it's Woody. So um, he did make sense there. So the five to ten thousand kids, these are the entertaining. Uh, they're very dedicated. They want to get where they're going, and they're actually they're on their way up to getting that ultimate goal of having a large channel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, yes, people do do it for fun, like myself, but I do put a lot of time and effort into my channel, and I hopefully it shows, and you guys do enjoy the content. Because um, I was at the ten thousand range uh, about a year ago. I'm, my channel slowly is dying out, but it came back to life. But I'm not here to talk about my channel. Um, level three of the hierarchy, I, I kind of, this is the up and coming channels. Because right now, a 11,000 to 30,000 channel is basically up and coming. You're putting out great content. People are watching. People are spreading the word about you. And you are getting noticed by bigger commentators. And they might help you out. So the 11,000 to 30,000 range are really good entertainers. Mostly by then, when you hit 11 to 30K. People know if you're in it for the money or not. They can tell by your content. They can tell by how much effort you put into your content. And if people are watching for you or just they're just watching. Because there are channels out there, large channels, where you're just watching to watch. You know the name and you just want to watch. It doesn't matter how good or bad their content is. You're just watching. I do it also. I watch channels like Wings of Redemption. I'm not saying his gameplay or his actual videos that he puts up is bad. I watch his stuff just to watch it, just because Wings of Redemption has been around for so long. It's just familiar for me to watch someone's channel. So that's tier three as 11 to 30k. These people, they're up and coming, they're going somewhere, they're still networking really well, etc, etc. And then you get to level four. Level four is 30 to 80,000 subscribers. That is a huge audience huge audience these people are content creators they've dedicated a lot of time and effort into what they're doing and they are highly highly recognized for it and most of the time I would say 99% of the time they're recognized because they actually put out good stuff and that's awesome so the people at level 4 30 to 80 K you guys are awesome continue what you're doing uh, majority of you guys are honest and you, uh, it's just great to see you guys recognized for what you do so level four is pretty much the cool guys. If you go to one of your favorite channels, majority of the time it's going to be a thirty to eighty thousand subscriber channel. Um, level five is the eighty thousand, eighty thousand plus. Now eighty thousand plus subscriber channels are almost at the elite level at the top of the pyramid. And when I say that, I mean the elite as in white boy. C Nanners, Captain Sparkles, these people have over a million subscribers. A million. Imagine the audience of a million subscribers. These people have worked their way up to the top. No matter how much you dislike the person, they have put a lot of time and effort into this, either for the good cause or the bad. You know, you can't. Mm, it's, it's a very touchy, very touchy subject, but all in all, these elite subscriber count channels are at the top of the pyramid. They're afraid to do dual commentaries because they don't want other people to watch the other person's content. So they kind of keep to themselves. You don't see dual con When was the last time you saw C Nanners or Tabe? Oh, well, uh, not really Tabe, but or any of these elite channels do a dual commentary with somebody. People are scared to network themselves because they don't want to lose viewers. And it's, it's kind of depressing. But that's basically my YouTube hierarchy in a nutshell. Uh, if you probably disagree with some things, I probably didn't really organize this very well but uh thanks for watching guys it's my weird double moab peace